Hi, my name is Matt and welcome to today's episode. My plan is to sail my 27-foot Maxi Phoenix Little Wing all the way from the Netherlands to Spain in about three months. In today's video we will be sailing from St. Peterport on Guernsey to Roscoff in France, from there to Concarneau, then further to Port Aligan, and finally to Le Baudière in the Vendée region. The total distance of these four legs is 318 miles, and it took us a little less than 80 hours to sail the full distance. So my mom and me started early in the morning at 7. The tide was against us when leaving St. Peterport, but it was such a long trip that would happen twice anyways, as the tides are about 6 hours long. And so we headed southwest, close hauling with some great weather. I'd like to say a few lines about Mr. V. Mr. V is a self-steering system that uses the apparent wind translating any changes into course corrections. It's also known as a windway. This mechanical device is what many long-distance sailors use to steer their boats and the beauty of it is that it doesn't use any electricity. So you point the vane into the wind so that it stays centered. If the boat steers off course, the wind vane will activate a push rod that will force the yellow servo rudder to swing and that kinetic energy is then used to pull the tiller into the opposite direction and thus correcting the course. The servo rudder is connected to the tiller with these lines and a little chain to fine tune and here you can see it working. And so the evening came, and with it a very beautiful sunset, as we sailed into the night.
until we arrived at Roscoff at around 5 a.m. Beware, the marina is not well lit, and so it is pitch black at night. At day, however, it's a cozy place and very modern. The nature surrounding the marina is breathtaking, and in town you will find a lot of excellent restaurants. My mom had to go back home the next day, and so I would go on sailing on my own from here. Good morning! So, we just left Roscoff about an hour, hour and a half ago, 9 o'clock in the morning, on our way to Brest. The uh, weather is excellent, it's super nice, the dolphins were already here, and uh, I took out the blister because we have winds coming from aft and this helps us to go a little bit quicker with those conditions and it looks good unfortunately we're not really able to make the course that we want to go because the winds are just coming right from uh, from aft from behind so we have to uh, tack a little bit but so far, so good. The total trip is about 17 miles. It will be quite long, but it's a super nice day for sailing. It's about seven o'clock now. We've already sailed, I think, uh, about 45, 45 or 50 miles, I guess. Um, I've taken down the blister, which is the spinnaker type sail, and um, we're now going south around the uh, Cape near Brest. And I think it's another six hours to actually go to the marina. And maybe depending on the weather, I might even go a little bit further. It also depends a lot on the traffic because Brest is a very, uh, very busy commercial harbor. So I expect a lot of ships there, which is always a little bit of a, of a headache at night when you're really slow in a small sailboat. So let's see how that goes. Good morning, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning and the sun is just about to rise with a beautiful sunrise here and uh, I've sailed through the night I did not stop in Brest where, where I intended to, to go to but instead I think uh, we're gonna go to another place um, which is a lot further away 
which is quite good because it came a lot further than I expected and uh, it's a good starting point for the next uh, trip and here's that beautiful sunrise And so after sailing one day, one night and almost another full day, I arrived at uh, Concarneau. I only stayed for one night and left very early in the morning, also because it was quite expensive to stay there. Good morning! It's about 10.30 in the morning, we left at 9. There's little winds and the winds are coming from our tail. So I've got the little blister out and we're going today to Port Aligan, which is about 50 miles to the east along the coast side. And uh, yeah, the weather should be stable. There shouldn't be too much wind, but it should be enough to sail. And I hope I can make it in about 10 hours if I'm lucky. Good morning from Port Aligan in the Brittany, Brittany. So I arrived here yesterday at around 9 o'clock at night after sailing 50 miles from Concarneau and uh, I'm just staying for one night and uh, we'll leave very soon. Just uh, I'm going to pay the uh, mooring fees um, and then go hopefully another 50 miles down south to a place called L'Herbierge. So initially I actually wanted to cross the Bay of Biscay, but I was pretty late in time, about two weeks uh, late in my schedule. And also uh, I'm not really sure if I have the confidence in this small boat to actually cross the bay with it because storms can build up there very frequently and uh, I don't have AIS. So this is going to be today's trip. Um, the wind was looking really well yesterday from um, beam, which is the side of the boat. And now it's looking a little bit less favorable, just straight from our tail, which is always very tiresome because boats uh, cannot go directly into the wind. Uh, and it's also very tricky if you have your winds coming straight from your tail. Uh, you always need a little bit of an angle, so you kind of, uh, you need to tack, which is kind of zigzagging. Um, and that's kind of annoying, so let's see how far I can get. If I don't get to my 50 miles target, then I, there's other ports that I can roll into uh, in about 30 miles of distance. So let's see how that goes. I've just left Port Aligan. It's now right 10 o'clock, so I'm uh, on my way for about an hour. The wind vane is steering, as you can see, moving a little bit, doing it really well so far. Happy about that. Uh, wind is coming from the uh, side of the boat, which is good, uh, and the wind wane can actually uh, handle that. It doesn't really like uh, winds coming from aft, from, from our tail. And so far so good. The wind is uh, relatively little. We're doing about uh, three knots, so um, it could be a bit more. But hey, uh, let's not complain too much. Just wanted to show you one thing. I hope the camera picks it up. Here's a little bit, here are two little islands. And uh, this is where I went through yesterday evening at low tide. It was supposed to be 10 meters deep, but it was only about, uh, at its lowest point, about 3.5. There's loads of rocks. So actually, uh, that was kind of dangerous. I'm happy that it worked. I will probably not do that again and choose a safe route instead of uh, saving a little bit of time. And. Uh, so far so good. Let's see if we can make the total of uh, almost 50 miles today.
it's around five in the afternoon. There was a lot of motoring in the end. The wind uh, completely died down and they even turned into uh, straight from our from our nose. So yeah, I guess about five hours of motoring, maybe a little bit less. Now the wind is back, tailwinds, but it's working fine. We're doing close to four knots. The water is not very deep in uh, the uh, port we're going to anyways. So we can be late. If we arrive at 9.30, it's fine. And quickly berth, cook some dinner, go to bed and check if uh, we can go on tomorrow. There's a lot of big ships here, about 10 miles from the coast. In the charts it says it's a waiting area and I count seven big ships. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, actually eight. Eight big ships. And so we arrived at L'Herbaudière, which turned out to be a very cozy seaside town. Before leaving Le Baudier, local sailmaker David reforced my 30-year-old mainsail, where it would chafe on the spreaders of the mast. And this is where we will close off this episode. See you next time for more sailing and my attempt at crossing the Bay of Biscay. Thanks for watching! Bye!